Hi and welcome to a quick demonstration and run through some of the features that are available within the new web interface as part of ESM 6.8 release. Uh, if I just log into the interface, I come through to my initial landing page and here we can see uh, my initial notifications and cases uh, and just like with the console version we can dig into those and so on and unfortunately I can see that there's quite a considerable number of cases I need to deal with. Um, what I want to deal, uh, dig into in this particular uh, video is actually look at the active channels and some of the capabilities that we, ha we have within that. We always have had the capability to view dashboards, which is great, but the active channels is a new capability for us. So if I just go into that uh, and view what we have. So if I look at my channels here, I'll actually just look at my uh, demo live uh, channel here, and you can see that it loads. Uh, it's a very similar look and feel as to what we're used to in the normal console. So we've got the uh, status bar with the colors and the priorities displayed accordingly. So we can see all that. We can actually go backwards and forwards and drag into to certain aspects of that. So we can see the color coding for the priorities. We can then look at the actual event list. Now, please note that the event uh, view here and the fields that are available to be viewed here is absolutely relevant to what was set up for this channel. So uh, it is designed to be a operator and analyst view, uh, not something that you necessarily view uh, as a, a content creator, for example. So it's just displaying me a limited set of, of um, uh, fields here. Of course, if I edit it and change that, I would see all the others. But we can see what's displayed. More importantly, you just saw there, is it actually updated? It is updating in real time. So it's, as we're receiving the data in my test system, as I'm feeding this data through, is actually going to update it accordingly. And we can see that there's actually a large amount of data in there. And if I want to dig into a little bit more understanding of what, what's going on, in fact, you just saw that the, the uh, little bar, bar chart for the visualization for the events has changed. If I look at the priority status, it'll tell me what's going on, what's the overall spread of, of the priority of the event information itself. I can even look at the condition summary as well that's included. Uh, what it will do is it display all the filters and display all the relevant data there. I could edit that, but uh, I'm not going to worry too much about it because that's what's been created for me. But what I can do is I can see the data here. I can actually click onto an event. And if I'm interested, uh, I, for example, I'm actually really interested in seeing encrypted data transfer. Now, it is real time, so I probably want to pause that and just not let it update it. But if I wanted to look at the details, I just click the view details view and I can see all the relevant information. Now, this is all information. In fact, if I hide the empty rows, uh, I can see all the with all the rows that it would have normally hidden there. So if you just uh, click that again, so it, it shows you this hidden. It's showing all the zone information it's showing all the relevant information and actually I can I can search and find the data uh, if there is any relevant payload to that so if, we, if it's from an IPS or an IDS device that's giving us payload data uh, we can see that data there uh, this is a, a replay uh, information so I don't actually get to see that uh, and I can actually just go through and I can do a search and I can see the various information and uh, see the IP address and so on uh, that's there too which is great what I want also might be interested to do is I could add that to an existing case so I can see what's available as my, my cases that are open for example uh, and I can see maybe this is something to do with malware I can see this is increased virus activity and actually could, I could add that to a particular case and, and have that updated accordingly clearly it's only going to display the cases that are open for me as a user and anything else that I can't see it's not going to display Another new capability that we have here is the ability to do annotation. So uh, what we can do is I can take that data and as again, as part of a, a standard uh, security operations center environment, you probably actually want to have the capability to do some simple annotation to, against that event to say, well, I'm doing the initial, initial investigation. Uh, who is the user that's going to do uh, this? It's actually me as admin. That's probably not the best person to do this for and say, uh, this has been reviewed and I can annotate that data. Uh, that will then appear against that data at all times and whether it's tagged or a case accordingly, it'll also get annotated too. So now you can see we can operate in a multi-user environment very quickly and very easily. Of course, uh, what I could do is I can actually click on where it's highlighted. I can click on the data and I can drill down on that data too. So uh, in this particular case, I'm actually interested in understanding this IP address uh, and I can add this to the channel. So I want to uh, add this uh, as the attacker address to this search. So it's just like you would within an active channel. I'm adding that data to that view uh, and it's it's giving me the information and I can see the further data accordingly. If there was multiple fields, I could just 
highlight multiple fields. In fact, actually, I'm just holding down the control key and I can view details. And now I can click and jump between uh, multiple events very quickly and very easily. And you can see how quickly it's getting me that data. It's actually using the ESM APIs to retrieve that data, and it's doing so extremely quickly as well. Uh, but of course, just like with an active channel, it's given me a tab, so I can actually close that tab, and it takes me back to the original view. Notice I don't need to research, I don't need to do anything new. Notice I don't need to do anything new with regards to this. It's there and it's available, and I can see the data recording. And of course, I paused this earlier, so I just hit play again. It's then going to pull the data and carry on from there. Uh, it's very simple and very straightforward. And in fact, there was a there was a, a correlated event there. If I just pause that, and again, just to show the illustration here, view the details on this. It's actually going to show me what the correlation is, it, the, the rule that's been triggered, then the base event. That's in this particular case, it's only one event that's caused that. So I can then I can click onto that data and see what's the underlying aspect too and see all the relevant data as well. And if there's any annotation to this, in this, in this particular case, there isn't any, uh, and so on. So but then becomes a very powerful tool for me to use that's extremely powerful with regards to fast, prompt, quick, and flexible, but very much in line with how, as an operator or analyst within the ESM environment, you would look to uh, view the details, add things to the cases, and annotate that data accordingly of how you view. And it's a very common and familiar view that you used to within the active channel. So uh, that is a very, very quick run through of the options and capabilities that's provided with uh, ESM 6.8 and the web interface that's now available. Thank you very much.